So the thermosol device that I usually use is this guy here. And you'll see I'm using some of that Technora cord goes on the back of it and you know I can tie it up around a tree or something like that. And that just gets it up off the ground and clearing out the area. They cover basically about a 12 foot by 12 foot area so they're pretty useful and when you're filming that type of an area is perfect so for anybody that is doing the YouTubes and you have a lot of mosquitoes like if you're filming out in the woods or even just out in the backyard kind of deal these things are great to have with you. That and that that's it. It's almost like mosquitoes don't even exist. It's perfect. Uh, the way they work is you get a butene bottle there, and that one's got a cap on it. So the cap comes off, and it's got a thread here along the top, and this black piece comes off, and it pushes up in, and then you thread it in the rest of the way, and then your butene canister is attached. Uh, it has a piezo ignition right here, like a barbecue. And once that's in and you turn this dial here to on and you click that, you look in the top, it has a little viewing window here and you'll see a lit flame just in there. And what it does is it heats up this, there's a little metal burner underneath of this uh, blue, blue pad that's in there and it heats that up and then the blue pad has the insecticide on it and it warms that up and it smokes off of there and it clears out the mosquitoes so like something else, it's great. So you get one of these and then you get about three of these and these here are the little blue pads that you see in the top. They are your insecticide. So that in conjunction with this and you won't be bothered and you'll have a nice day without having to swap mosquitoes or having to deal with itches and such stuff like that. It's an excellent, excellent item. I'll cue the video that I did on it and uh, you can take a look at it from there. I was talking before about a tack tie. This is what one is. Uh, this is a small version of it, so you can see there's the back there, and how it comes apart is like this. Just push that up in through, pull this back, and then that will come, you can pull it right through. Um, the way that they stay in is if you weave it through here like you see, and you pull it through, and then you pull it back, but make sure that that other part slides over top, now it's locked there and it won't come out and they work very well. So that's a tack tie and that is made by Maxpedition. You can see we'll flip it inside out here and there's our little logo right there. Great little device for securing anything to your pack. If you need a little extra, a little extra length to one that you have, it'll work great. I've picked up a number of these. Uh, they're little notepads. These ones specifically I've gathered up at the SHOT Show because they've, they've just had them out there. Uh, you can keep little notes. They're right in the rain, so they're waterproof. Uh, you can get a waterproof pencil or pen and in conjunction with this, you can keep all sorts of notes. They're, this one's grafted up. I believe they pretty much all are. They're little sample pads. Yeah, I've got some different information for different scopes that I have. And that one, and the other two are blanks. Those are great, it's always good to keep notes. If you've been, uh, if you happen to have been lost for a while or you're doing a hike or something, you may want to keep different notes on where certain things are that you've noticed or where that you've gone or you can rip out a page and leave it on a tree so somebody can find it and they can know something that you want them to know. In this little tiny zip block, I don't have it in there for any reason other than it just kind of keeps it there, is a little button compass. Get a little closer at it. Button compasses are great. Uh, you can just set it out and uh, these are great. You can just set them out and use it, and they're pretty compact. so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your pack. Uh, it doesn't really work in conjunction with maps and stuff other than you can get your map pointed in the right direction I guess you could do that with it. Uh, 
just a nice little device to have in there. If, if, if you're out, you're lost, and you don't have one, you'll be wishing that you did. A few other items that I have. These are water purification tablets. These are... What brand are they? Pristine. Uh, they have uh, a lot, and they have they have a lot number on them. And they have an expiration date, so just keep those in mind. The expiration date on these ones is 2017, so I still got a little bit for them. And then I'll switch them out. This is duct tape, and uh, you can never go wrong by having some duct tape with you. I've wound up a little bit of a roll there, and I've actually put it on an old ID card that I have. So if I happen to lose everything, and somebody found this. Provided that they take the duct tape off, they would know exactly who, who it all belongs to and stuff like that. This was another item that was fairly close to being one of the first items that I purchased for all of my gear, and it's the uh, Barra Grills Fire Striker. You can see in the top corner there, I got a fire striker or some other kind too. We'll get to it in a minute. But uh, yeah, this one here, uh, it's the Bear Grills version. It uh, has your uh, ferrocium rod and your striker. Works very well. You can grind a much off and then hit it really hard and it will ignite. Uh, it is, it's got a waterproof seal all around it. Help keep water out. You can keep some tinder inside if you had to. Actually, no, that's not going to work because you're going to keep your that's where your fair seam rod goes. So forget about the tinder part. You're going to want to come up with a way of supplying your own tinder, and I have one of those. Uh, it has some basic uh, survival information on it. Uh, you got your SOS code here. Uh, a big N shaped with made with your body is don't need help. Over on this side here, we have uh, Alpine Rescue Signal, repeat, pause one minute, and then uh, it used to say something there, but it has deteriorated. So that's the only disadvantage. So this stuff here, it's, it's painted on and it can rub off. Uh, a body shape making a Y is need help. So it's got a few little things there. So some paracord, it's got this little piece here that you can change the length of your cord. Uh, it also has a survival whistle with it right here. So that's kind of neat. So you can get that sound pretty loud. Uh, it's, it's a good little unit. I've liked it. Uh, I probably will replace it with something at some other time. But for now, I've got some good kit and it will do the job for me. Bic lighter. Can't go wrong by having one of these. Uh, there's another YouTube channel out there and he's done some different uh, exposure tests with them. And I gotta tell you, these things, they just keep going and going and going and going. Uh, it does, it will have a life to it. Obviously you're limited to the amount of butane that you have. You're also limited to the quality of a flint that you have. Your striker will probably, it will definitely outlast your flint because I, I used to smoke a number of years ago. I don't anymore, thank God. Um, I You could burn out a, uh, a flint before the uh, striker for sure. Um, good little unit though. Make sure you have, uh, it's good to have a bunch of them. I usually just carry one because I have other methods of, of getting fire and I'm quite confident in my skills. So I carry one. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. If you're out there and you have one of these, you'll be glad you did. You don't want to just be sitting there starting fires with sticks and stuff like that. That's more of a bushcraft thing or a last resort a skill that you've picked up because you maybe were out and you didn't have a lighter, and it's nice to know that. But anyways, carry one if you can. You'll be glad you did. deck of playing cards. This is just a standard deck of bicycle playing cards, uh, 125 year version of them. Uh, you know what, if, if there's a couple of you and you want to pass some time and uh, you're sitting around, you can't go wrong by having some playing cards. Keep your mind off other things, you can you know, build card houses, whatever else. There's, I'm sure there's hundreds of uses for these things. Uh, I haven't looked them all up, but uh, 
nevertheless, it's it's a good idea to have them. Uh, there are other types of cards that I would rather carry. I haven't obtained them yet, but uh, survival fact cards, just because why not kill two birds with one stone? You could have all your survival facts on cards and you know have a card game as well, and you'd be that much further ahead. But anyways, that's what I have. Small compact hearing protection. As you know, I do quite a bit of videos where I'm shooting. Uh, you can't go wrong by protecting your ears. Uh, your hearing is only as good as it is, and you want to save what you have. So wear your wear your ears. These are just a small pair. I have larger muffs and stuff that I use, but sometimes I get out there and I realize, so you know what? I didn't bring my ear muffs with me, so I have these in my pack. I'm never without without something. Chem lights. These are a nice little uh, addition to any pack. Uh, they will attract attention. They'll let you know where your shelter is at night. So if you set up and you just want to mark it, you use one of those and you'll be able to get your way back. Uh, for camping as well, you can mark stuff. Uh, if you happen to, I probably wouldn't use them to mark a survival shelter just for the fact that I'm going to stay close by at night and there's going to be a fire. What I would use these for is attracting attention. Say it's nighttime and I hear a small boat out on a lake going back home or I hear a small plane going over. I want to get out there. I want to have those things broken and I want to be waving them and creating as much attention as possible. So that's why they are in the pack. And those are the Cool Hands chem lights. These ones are orange. So they should attract attention. The standard color was always green. These are an orange set. I have another set of cards. These ones are strictly for fun. Uh, when I do work up loads, when I'm reloading and stuff like that, I can blast them. Once I know that I've got a good group, I can set one of these cards out there and blast it. And you can kind of keep it as a little memento of, of the size of your group. It's got like a little crosshair in there. Uh, Snipers.com. So I, I got those at the SHOT Show. They were there when you were with the booth set up. And I got some of those from them. I'll be doing some videos too where I, I would do some of the grouping for the reloading ones that I made up and I'll use those for that. This pen looking thing, it's kind of neat. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with these. You can get, what it's specifically for, it's not a writing utensil. It works in conjunction with these. What we have here is a is a bear banger, and we have a flare. So these are threaded. It's a little protector that goes on top, and it has like what would kind of be like a little primer in the top of it. So you can see the top too well, but there it is there. And this pen has a striker on it. it, sits down inside, and what you do is you can put the pen into safe mode right there, and then you thread the bear banger or the flare onto it, and then once it's on there, you take it off safe and you pull it all the way down to the bottom like that, and you let it go. And hopefully your flares and your bear banger are in good condition. You should always make sure you have new ones on you anytime you go out. But it'll ignite that. It'll fly up. And then you'll either get off the bear banger, you'll get like a, a boom. And it's a big one. It's louder than a 12-gauge shotgun. Or with the flare, it'll sh you shoot it up high and it just it falls back and it lights up the area. And they work really well. They're a nice little feature for survival pack. The brand that I have been carrying with me is True Flare. And they're quite common here in Canada. And it has like a pen clip on the top. It's it's you know it's not gonna take up any more room than a pen, really. It's that size. And what I did for the uh, the bear bangers and the flares, I keep them in a little pouch. This is this is a low pro pouch. 
I just keep all my flares and bear bangers in there. It was a, it was a small camera pouch that I picked up at a dollar store, and they fit in there perfect. Keeps them nice and safe and dry. And does it have a little attachment? It does. It has a little attachment on the back, so you can keep it on the outside. I tend not to. I just keep it inside my pack with all my flares and everything in there. And then the uh, the true flare, the uh, pen deal, I keep it in the, the front pocket of my pouch so I know where it is. They work great. Excellent signaling device. Uh, takes care of bear, bears for you as well. Doesn't kill them, but just scares them. This is orange hunting tape. And hunters been using it for years to mark their way in and out of the bush so they know where they're coming and going from. Uh, survival situation is good to have this in your pack because you can leave this behind every so often. As long as you can see the last one, you can put another one and then that will be picked up and you can leave it as a trail as where you've gone. If you decide that you had to move out of the area for whatever reason, you can at least mark your trail with that and that's excellent stuff. Uh, you can find this at most hunting supply stores. They'll have it there on the shelf. Everybody knows what that is. That's the space blanket. Uh, I keep one in a pack. You can do uh, just a basic shelter out of one. You could have your you could have your lean to already set up. You can put that over top of you. You could use it on your firewall as a fire reflector to reflect heat back into your shelter. Uh, again, you know, there's there's hundreds of uses for these things. Just look them up on the net, and they'll have everything on there for you. Um, I'm gonna get one. And I'm actually gonna do a setup. I'm gonna do a mock setup of a survival situation at some point, and we'll go over all the various things in there. It's gonna take me a bit, but I will get to it. Nalgene bottles, uh, cooking cup, uh, two different Nalgene bottles. The smaller one I use, I keep uh, food in it that I don't want to get wet and stuff. Uh, you could use it as a water transportation container too if you had to for any other type of liquid. Uh, this one here is primarily my water one. I can put good clean water in there. And on the bottom, it fits into a little cooking canister. So it has these handles on it so you can get it in and out of the fire without burning yourself. Uh, this is a GSI version one, and I haven't used it yet. Uh, I will be taking it out again. My mock survival situation. We'll do a uh, we'll do a test with it and a review, of course. But uh, those I, I chose this to go along with this just for the simple fact that it packs in fairly shallow and doesn't take up much space. This here, I've got a cup of soup in there, chicken noodle soup. You just squeeze them in there. There's like a granola bar in there as well. You can put more food in there. I just have a few basic things. And very, very easy in the wintertime, like you can melt down snow with your pot and then you can cook your soup in it and everything else. So just a couple of good items I thought would be good for the kit. This here is my Hunter Specialty Folding Saw. Comes in a pouch and it has two different blades with it. It's got a lock here to lock it shut and to lock it open. Uh, folds out. It's a pretty good size when it's all folded out. Really easy to see right there. Um, I've had this one for a while and I've used it and it works well. I haven't bent up the blade too badly on it. It does have a couple little wows in it. Um, you just want to make sure that you're doing most of your cutting back here and not out here on the tip. But it will cut, you know, good sized branches. It'll get through them. Uh, it's got, uh, again, it's it's got the lock so it doesn't shut on your hands or anything like that. And you just do that. Folds up into the handle, packs away nice and securely. Um, also came with a boning blade so you can cut bones with it, cut through bone if you're skinning an animal. Packs up quite nicely. It's a good little pack for it. And then it has attachments on the back. You can attach it to belts and stuff. Another great item for the kit so you can cut firewood and all sorts of stuff. I think that is pretty much it. We'll do one later on the bag itself. Um, I'll go through it a bit, a bit more closely, and uh, we'll take a good look at it. But uh, yeah, that's my kit for now, guys. So I've had uh, I've had a lot of fun putting this together. Uh, there's tons of more stuff that you could include in it. If you got suggestions, please bring it up in the comments and say, you know, I'd do this or, you know, I wouldn't like that. I want to hear what you think. So go ahead, light them up. And uh, until next time, please hit subscribe and have fun.